Welcome to another video in the Geography Glossary series. This is a series that looks at the Board of Studies Glossary for stages four and five for geography. Today we're gonna to look at a couple of geographic maps that look at primarily the natural world. Let's begin with the topographic map. This is a detailed large scale map, more about those later, of part of the Earth's surface, which illustrates the shape of the land and selected natural and human features from the surrounding environment. They look a lot like this map to the right. This is a map of Bryce Canyon in the US. And you can see here from the contour lines that Bryce Canyon is an incredibly steep and rocky part of the world. But what about that large scale map? Well, it's a map that shows a small area of the Earth's surface in large detail. Example, a suburb where each centimeter on the map scale represents a small distance on land. An example of a large scale map is seen here in Legion on the west coast of Bali. This is a tourist map, so we've got the streetscape and so much detail that we can point out Jaya Pub, Deja Vu and the Bali Beach Shack. So what's a small scale map then? Well this is a map showing a large area of the Earth's surface but with very little detail. For example, a world map where a centimetre on the map scale represents a huge distance on the land. An example would be this map to the right of the country of Colombia. While we can see the major landforms such as mountain ranges and the main rivers, we're not getting the same level of detail as a large scale map. For example, we can't see a Bali beach shack on this map. Now, these two maps confuse a lot of students, but isn't large small and small large, they ask? The key here is to focus on the features in the map. Do the mountains look small? Well, then it's a small scale map. Do the mountains look large? Well, then it's a large scale map. Our final map is a relief map. This is a three dimensional map showing the shape of the land and distinctive landforms, i.e. terrain. Or it's a two dimensional map representing 3D terrain. It looks a lot like this map to the right of Japan. This map doesn't use contour lines like a topographic map might use, but it actually looks like it's a 3D drawing of those mountains to show us what they're like. That was a quick run through of four of the geographic maps you'll find in the glossary for stages four and five geography. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, feel free to click on one of the links above and thanks for watching.